Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. Now in this video, I am going to demonstrate the latest Linux that is known as Bodhi Linux, which is based on kernel 2.6 and even further. In this video, on step-by-step -step demonstration on how to install that Bodhi Linux on VirtualBox. Now, before we start the installation of Bodhi Linux on VirtualBox, let us first of all know more about Bodhi Linux and how to download Bodhi Linux. So if I go to google.com and if I type Bodhi Linux, so now you can see that lots and lots of web pages have come. So let us first of all go and open this web page. So this is the official web page of bodhilinux.com. So you can find that Bodhi Linux is known as Enlightened Linux distribution and it is based on Ubuntu distribution. Basically, if I talk specifically, it is based on Ubuntu 14.04 code name Trusty Tahar. And the current version of Bodhi Linux is 3.1.1, which means that most of the packages which we require on uh, Ubuntu uh, is already been there on Bodhi Linux. So if I go to more uh, links like that's Bodhi Linux on wiki freepedia so you can find more information on wikipedia also that it is known as a lightweight distribution it is having the moksha desktop you can find all this and you can find that the latest release is 3.1.1 so in this video we will be covering latest release 3.1.1 now the question is how to download this Linux. Now you can find on this web page, you can find these links 32 bit and 64 bit. So I will be using this 64 bit and you can click on this download. And as I've already downloaded, so I will not uh, let you download. So you can click on this blog. You can find more information on uh, Bodhi Linux. You can find on click on Wiki. You can find more information again on Wiki. And if I click on this app center, now these are the basically apps which are available right now which you can install on Bodhi Linux. So how to install, how to get it, so we can find it. So let us start. Now you can find on my desktop, I've already downloaded Bodhi Linux 3.1.1 hyphen 64 bit ISO image. So if I right click over here and click on properties, so now you can see that it is about 575 MB. So it is not a very high-end distribution. It is basically a distribution which is being customized from Ubuntu 14.04. So let us start our VMware VirtualBox. And now let us click over here, that is new. Now type the name that is Bodhi Linux. Now you can find that it has automatically set the type Linux and version is version 2.6 oblique 3.0 oblique 4.0 64-bit. So let us click next. Now here you have to set the size of the memory. So I'm having 8 GB RAM in my system. So it is uh, no matter. So I should give it 1024, which means about 1 GB of RAM. So you can even get a 2 GB or 3 GB, but 1 GB or even 512 MB of RAM will be equal for running the Bodhi Linux. So let us click next. Now we have to define the virtual hard disk. So let us click create. So VDA image, it will be fine for me. So click next. So dynamically allocated, and now I have to change the size. That is, I can give about 16 GB. So I just browse over here, and I go to my E drive, under my virtual box, and now I click a new folder that is Bodhi Linux. So I just save over here, which means the Bodhi Linux will be saved on my virtual box, oblique Bodhi Linux, oblique Bodhi Linux dot VDI. So let us click create. So now the hard disk has been created. So now it is a time to start. So if you can click over here, the settings, you can find more information about Bodhi Linux, about what is being set out. So without wasting time, so let us start it. So let's click start. So now you have to find that is where to have the ISO image. So now let us browse this. And now I have to go to my desktop. Now I have to locate the Bodhi Linux. So click open and let's click start. So let us click view and full screen mode. So now you can see that the following options have come. That is live, boot live in safe graphics mode, run mem test, check distro integrity and boot the first hard disk. So before we install Bodhi Linux, let us first of all give the live distribution advantage. And then from the live distribution, we will be going with some steps and then we will be installing it as on a standalone operating system. So let us select the first option itself and press enter. So let me close for you. So now you can see that the Bodhi Linux has started the boot. 
So what is the difference between a live and a standalone? Live means that it is just going to give you an overview of what the desktop will look like, what are the features, and standalone means that you have to in, that you have installed it as like a standalone machine. So it has started initializing some uh, files. So without any problems, you just uh, ignore all these errors. These errors are just like a small system error, so no need to worry about those errors. So now you can see that we have booted into the live Linux distribution of Bodhi Linux and we have find that the desktop is Moksha desktop. Now we find that uh, if you study basic Linux, we are having two types of desktops. One is called Genome desktop and second is called the KDE desktop. But, the, but in this Bodhi Linux, we will be having the Moksha desktop. So now the Bodhi Linux wallpaper has been set up and I can find that it's a very clean, nice distribution. So here is the basic quick start guide. So you can even click over there that is getting started. Moksha, run everything and everything you want to know from all the resources and quick start index. So let us close this. And now you can find over here, there is a called install Bodhi. So click over here so that we can install Bodhi Linux on uh, as a standalone machine. So now you can see that the dialog box has started. So now this is known as the main installation, you can say the window. So if you want to release the notes, you can release the notes, you can wish to read it. So let us click on continue. So now you can find that it has said that for best results, please ensure that this computer has at least 4 GB of hard disk, is plugged into power source and is connected to the internet. So now you can find that I have already been connected to the internet. It is plugged on the power source. My laptop is on the power. Now you can find over here, it is on the power. And it has, as you know, that before deploying of the Bodhi Linux, I have already allocated 16 GB of hard disk. So 4 GB it requires. So we will be installing it in a very beautiful manner. So click continue. So this is the main thing that the computer currently has no operating system. As you know that 16 GB was only booted with a live distribution. So no uh, operating system is there. So I will be allocating whole of the 16 GB to Bodhi Linux. So I just uh, check the first uh, uh, information only that is erase disk and install Bodhi. So click on install now. So you can find that all thing has been uh, there and it is using the latest uh, file system that is ext4 and it will be taking as a swap edition. So click on continue. So it will now start the installation. So now you will be finding that where are you? So I am in India, so it has detected Kolkata, so there is no worry. So I click on as default option that is click on continue. So here we have to find the keyboard layout. So no need to make any change, English US and English US over here. So click on continue. So now we have to give some details so that we can log in into our Bodhi Linux. So let me give my name, Anand Nair, and let me choose one password. So let us continue. So ignore this short password, there is no need to worry. You can change the password using commands or everything else. So now you can find that everything has been set up and Bodhi Linux has started copying the files. It's a very lightweight Linux distribution, so it will not take much time of us to install. It has just taken about, uh, it will just take about, about, I can say, four to five minutes depending on your processor and RAM speed, which is very good in my system. So about two minutes, I can maximum assure that it will be taking. So till it does, uh, so you can find that almost it has finished the copying files. So again, we can find that it is having its app center also. Snaptic package manager. You can even install the, you can use apt get command itself to install the packages. So after it gets installed, we will be just covering some basic command on terminal and I will be giving you basic overview of the desktop and how it look likes. So it is having a great resource 
and it is having the Midori, the default browser. So you can even install Chrome browser, you can even install Firefox browser. So almost everything is being there because it is uh, based on Ubuntu. So everything which is available on Ubuntu, it is almost available on Bodhi Linux. So I think so that we are almost done. We have to restart the system and then we will be coming to the graphical user interface of the Moksha Linux. So till it installs, let us pause the video for some time. So now you can see that uh, it is creating, detecting the hardware and it is creating everything. So it's a very small Linux to install. It will not take much time of use to install. You can say even half the time of Ubuntu. So I also request you that if you are a good programmer, you can just uh, sign up on Bodhi Linux website and uh, you can uh, contribute towards this Bodhi Linux regarding with your own apps, with your own software packages. So because it is open source, so you can even uh, join its volunteers also because it's an ever-growing community. Linux always need volunteers for development, for latest packages, for updates, for security bugs, for vulnerability assessments. So for making good user interface, awareness of the Linux. So whatever it is required, so do give it a shot and do contribute something on both the Linux. So DPKG was there, so Debian package. So almost done. Yes. So now you have seen that the installation has finished and you can continue testing Bodhi now, but until you restart the system. So without wasting the time, let us restart the system. So click on restart now. The system is going on reboot. It will not take much time. So now you can see that it has already started. So let us uh, resume this. So it is booting. Very good effects. And good interface of, mo of uh, Moksha desktop. So now you can see that it has given my name. So you can even log in with root also. So let us go with my name and then we will be changing the password of root and then we will be logging with root. So let us give my password. So it is uh, loading the Moksha settings. Let's wait. Good. So now you can see that the Moksha desktop has started and here's the wallpaper and here is the interface. So it is very good and a very fast Linux. So you can click over here, run everything. So everything is there. And quick start guide is already there for you and even lots and lots of, uh, you can say Moksha basics. If you want to see over here, you can find every information on this web page. So let us close this. And now let me tell you that rather than right clicking, it, avail it is available on the left click. So 
click give the left click go to applications go to accessories you can find the e-pad and file manager preferences monitor and network settings graphics we have the e-photo on internet like we sold you that uh, midori web browser is there and midori private browsing for security so system tools and over here we have the last thing that is called terminology so click on terminology we will have the terminal so now you can find that the Bodhi Linux, Bodhi Adred, Bodhi VirtualBox is there. So let us give it ls so we can find the desktop. And now if I want to check the kernel version, let me give the command that is uname space minus a. So now you can see that the latest kernel is being there installed and 3.16.0-15 generic is the name of the kernel. It's a GNU Linux. So let's go with this command at stop. So it is not installed. So let us install some uh, htop. So let us give this command that is sudo apt get install htop. Let me give the password. So now it is installing. Let me give you the task manager. Good. So let us go with this command htop. So now you can find that it's a very, you can say low browser, about uh, 993 MB of the RAM has been allocated and it is only using 212 MB. So it's a very lightweight Linux, we can say, everyone. So let us log in into root. So let us give the password that is first of all, set the password that is sudo password. So let me type the password. So now the password has changed. So let us log in with root. So su space minus. So now you can find that I have logged in with the root. So if I click on who, so you can find Bodhi, who am I, it is root. So you can even uh, install the packages like apt, yeah, so let us first of all update the system. So apt hyphen get update. Let us update the system. So all these commands which you can find on Ubuntu, it is there on that. So let us play more with the uh, with Linux so you can find that lots and lots of gadgets are there so accessories preferences so main things are there so you can install it so I don't find uh, much packages so you can click over here that the, the app center So it is updating. Good. So here is all the packages which I have told you. They are the image viewers. E-photo has already been installed. And GWN view is there. So we can click on install and we can install all these packages. So this is all about body Linux, about its installation and basic commands which I have given you. So you can find it's a very good and lightweight Linux. So do give it a shot. I will be providing you the link of how to download and the official website downstairs on the video. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much.